so uh, Johnny is it? John. John, did you get the phone to sync with the tablet? Or? No, that's not going to happen. Sir, you've got a really bizarre combination of technology here. Yeah, tell me about it. I had this great phone and Larry took it away, the balding little bastard? Uh, sir, would you mind me asking, you are the deity that's going rogue, right? Um, no. Don't know what you're talking about. Because the thing is, I'd love to be part of something like that. I mean, I'm dying to get out of here. Do something cutting edge. Yeah, you know, I would love to help you out, but uh, I don't know anyone who'd do something like that. That's just sick. Well, sir, I saw your plans for the region of reprimand in the tablet, and, you know, only a deity that's going rogue would, would have that. Yeah, all right. You know what? Just keep it under your hat, all right? What do you What do you want to do? What are you looking for? Because we're, we're all wrapped up with IT. We don't need anyone. Well, you know, I, I studied oration with uh, with the kings. Carol and Beebe? Uh, no. Billy Jean and Martin Luther? Don. Don. And Larry, when I thought I wanted to be an interviewer. Uh, but I wanted to ask all the tough questions, and he doesn't know how to do that. And besides, I look terrible in suspenders. So you saw the Hell Project? Well, is that what you're calling it? Yeah, we named it after Larry's ex, Helene. I don't know if you met her, but she got everything. The house, the jag, his genitals. Wow, good lawyer. Oh, oxymorons. Oxymoron. Larry and I play it all the time. Self-conflicting, like uh, military intelligence or um, French resistance, uh, religion of peace. Yeah, no, I was just saying that obviously she had a, a good lawyer. Yeah, so, I mean, what did you think? You looked at it, right? Well, I think I don't understand it, sir. Okay, here's the problem. We have terrible good to evil ratios and free will. I'm thinking they're going to go for the evil like cops to a donut house because, you know, it's, it's just so much easier. Wait, you don't know what they're going to do? No, because I turned off my all-knowingness. Well, why would you do that? Well, because I needed some cover. It was either that or I turn off my all-powerfulness, and where's the upside in that, right? I mean, at least this way, I miss out on all the masturbating, Palin's Alaska, and I get to feign ignorance, right? Who knew? I don't know what's going on. Brilliant. Right? So what we're trying to do here with the hell thing is just scare people to death, right? So that they behave, because, I mean, they're not going to risk... Hell. So what happens in your region of reprimand? Well, I'm thinking some kind of eternal torment. Eternal torment? Like with... Well, we don't have anything set in brimstone, but I was thinking that we just, you know, burn them forever in a, in a lake of fire. Forever? Well, yeah, why? Is, is that too much? Well, it seems a little extreme. Well, they get used to it. They get used to it? Sure, you know how you get into a hot shower first thing on a cold morning? It's like, ah, scalding. But what do you do in two seconds later? You're angling for the H, are you not? Okay, is this for all misbehaving or, or just major infractions? No, 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 misbelieving. Misbelieving? Misbelieving, because what I'm thinking is if we can get everyone believing the right thing, naturally, they'll behave. Has that ever worked before? No. And what would happen to all of the good people who just don't believe? Barbecue. Bar okay, sir, I think you're just shooting yourself in the foot there, okay? It's going to make the whole belief thing harder. You know, I like the fact that you're a guy who speaks his mind. I don't get a lot of that around here, but um, what you're missing is that they have to believe in either me or the boy before they check out because the whole redemption thing is about faith and belief. Well, then it just makes it all about you. I mean, isn't, isn't it more important that they all treat each other well? You'd think so, but no. And the thing is, if they don't get redeemed in time, then they can't hang out with me afterwards, you know? And who, who wants to miss the after party? Well, what if they won't want to hang out with you? Well, why would, why would they not want to hang out with me? Well, because of things like this. I mean, you're talking about barbecuing good people just because they don't believe. I mean, why, why not just make a nice place for non-believers to go in and hang out together? Well, and so what? Then I'm not invited? How is that fair? Come on, it's got to be a place of torment. Otherwise, you know, you're going to have all the cool kids there. They're going to think of cool stuff to do, and then, then I'm going to be out of the loop. Well, maybe you would get invited if you would make a place like that, if you were more well-behaved. Oh, so I have to be well-behaved, but everybody else just has to believe, and they get off scot-free? That's outrageous. I, I'm, I'm, I'm appalled that you would suggest something like that, sir. Well, that was your idea, sir, not mine. Boy, it was, wasn't it? You know what? I gotta get some help around here because I am starting to lose my head. Well, I'm here to help you, sir. You know, I, I see the risk, you know, with you going rogue, but, you know, I'm willing to stick my neck out. All right. Well, thank you very much. You know what? Finally, I get someone here with a, a little courage. You just put yourself at the head of the pack. Um, boy, have you eaten? Because I'm getting... Uh, I, I could eat. Okay. You know what? Let's do that then because I am starting to get a little lightheaded. Do you drive? Do you have a car? Uh, yeah, I've got my forerunner out front. It'll just take me two minutes. Great. Just honk when you're ready. Right. Johnny J. 
Johnny, Johnny, digging that Johnny. Boy, what could we do with Johnny? What could we do? Forerunner. Well, that's it. That's our last DD episode for 2010. And what better way to end it than with an episode on the eternal torment of hell? I mean, is there anything that'll give you that, that warm, toasty feeling inside, like the, the fire and brimstone of eternal damnation? I don't think so. You know, I, I can't think of what it would be. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, do you smell that? There is nothing quite like the sweet smell of flame broiled love, is there? I mean, come on, you know it's true. But hey, speaking of hell, you know, Jesus said that it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to, to get into heaven. Now, I personally don't understand that verse. I don't know what it means. I've, I've talked to a lot of preachers out there about that verse, and they don't seem to understand it either, obviously. I mean, you've seen it, right? But my interpretation is that it means if you need to drop a few pounds, I'm here to save you from yourself. Now, how to do that? Here's how. Head on over to MrDeity.com and subscribe or donate to the show. The greater the donation or, and or I should say subscription, the closer you are to avoiding Chester's fate. We all know he did very well in this life, but in the next, I think we know what happened. Chester's roasting on an open fire. That's right. You've heard the stories. They're all true. Believe it. Now, if you want to help the show out and also get a great gift for the Deity fan in your life, check out the Holiday Combo Pack. It's a special signed DVD of Season 3 and a script of the original episode of Mr. Deity. Or order a script you know, any one of the scripts, your favorite episode, their favorite episode, you can get all of them. There's so many ways to make me, uh, your Deity fan, happy. And for those of you who've already done so much to help out the show and me this year, what can I say? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great holiday. I command it. And we'll see you in the new year. Thanks.